Hello guys, welcome to the fifth episode of Bass Chase. Today we're going to be looking at one of my favorite bass players, Hadrian Farad. And uh, we're going to look at his uh, blues feel over a dominant chord. So let's check it out. <laughs> So um, I like what I like to do is I divide this field into two parts. Uh, the first part is the ascending part. Okay, and the second part is the descending part. So it happens over an F sharp seven or G flat seven chord. And it goes, it goes like this. So the first part, um, he plays, it's very simple. He plays one, two, passing note to the three, five, eight. Eight is the one octave higher, so. So if I play slowly, one, two, three, four, One, two, half step above on the three, five, and one octave higher. Okay. Now the second part, in the second part he plays a descending line starting on the major sixth of the F sharp, which is a D sharp. So it's a eight, eight fret on the G string. It goes six, five, flat three, one. That's the first four notes. So six, five, flat three, one. And it's two notes on the G string, two notes on the D string. And then next he repeats the 6-5 but octave lower. Okay. So 6, 5, flat 3, 1, 6, 5, and then it's this flat 3 again to the 3 and 1. together this flat three one six five flat three three one okay and some small thing that what I like to do is at the end here flat three three two one I like to play it uh, with a hammer on with uh, with my left hand instead of my right hand because if I play with the right hand it's more staccato a little bit more staccato and I like it more if it's more legato sound so more smooth like this so Okay, so if I play first and the second part together, three, four. A bit slower, three, four. Okay, 
And uh, you can use this, for example, I like to use the second, uh, second part, the second line. I like to use it if, I ha if you have like a static dominant chord and you, it can be like a feel to, to, to break the form, you know. So at the end of the four bar, you play this. So for example, um, if you have... So you can use this in um, if you have in, not not this if you like we did it in uh, F sharp seven, but uh, if you know how it works with the degrees, like one two chromatically to third five eight six five flat three one six five flat three three one. If you know this, then you can transpose it and play it in other keys, like in a G. Like if you're in G seven, you can play if you have G seven chord like with funk or C7 or whatever. So I think that's really useful to know it like that, not just by the names of the notes. Um, so yeah, that's actually what I wanted to show you today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I'll see you next time.